This video shows how to perform the mechanical and electrical installation of the ABB ACS 480 general purpose drive. Make sure that proper safety procedures are followed and the work environment is safe by ensuring that the drive is disconnected from the power supply. In this video, we are installing the ACS 480 drive with a standard I.O. module and the ACS APS Assistant Control Panel. The packaging contains the quick installation and startup guide and necessary installation accessories. Mechanical installation is done by using the DIN rail mount. The drive is attached to the DIN rail by pressing it down. It is also possible to mount the drive using four screws. When installing the drive, pay attention to free space requirements. Next, prepare the motor cable by stripping the cable. Make sure to check the manual for the appropriate conductor size and type. Ground the motor cable shield under the grounding clamp and connect the cable to the grounding terminal. Attach the phase conductors to the phase terminals. If applicable, connect the brake resistor cable to the R- and UDC plus terminals. Next, prepare the input power cable. Make sure to strip the cable enough for the conductors to reach the input terminals as well as the PE terminal. If the input power cable has a shield, twist it into a bundle, mark it and connect it to the grounding terminal. Connect the PE conductor to the grounding terminal. Connect the input power conductors to the input terminals. The communication module is installed under the front cover. Align the communication module contacts with the contacts on the drive and carefully push the communication module into position. Push the locking tab in and tighten the locking screw. Next, we install the control cables for controlling the drive. Strip a part of the outer shield and ground it to the grounding tab. Strip the cable conductors and connect the signal cables according to the application wiring diagram. The default connection diagram for each macro is in the ACS 480 drive hardware manual. Ensure that the connections are correct before closing the front cover. To install the control panel, put the bottom edge of the panel into position and push the top of the panel until it locks into position. The installation is now complete. Open the lock securing the disconnection and switch on the supply. The drive is now powered on and ready for commissioning. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website.